Hello and welcome to this wonderful spring day in my kitchen. Now, we've been outside. Um, I actually had my son out there with me and we were gathering dry leaves and dirt from old pots and we are making a compost bin today. Now, here you're gonna see my husband so nicely drilling holes all through this bin. Um, it was a Pinterest idea that I saw the other day. Um, I've been on the fence on whether I wanted to do a compost bin or not because um, we really didn't have a place. Well, we had a place. I really don't want to make a stationary bin um, because we should hopefully be moving um, before too long to our new forever home. So I wanted something that I could take with me. And then I saw this idea on Pinterest and I was like, well, hey, I can totally move that. So this is what we're going to try. The person that blogged about it uh, said that they had good success. So I am optimistic and hoping for the best. So <clears throat> here you can see all the holes. And my husband did them all the way around. And then he did a bunch on the bottom. You want to make sure that it has airflow and you can vent. Um, we are still going to stir this um, just to make sure the oxygen is really flowing through. But um, it still needs to drain because you want it. You want to put your compost bin in a place where it's going to get a lot of sun, so it can get really hot. Um, it'll still work in the shade, it'll just take longer. So I want this to work fast, so I'm going to have it in a hot spot, the lid on, um, and I'll still be turning it, and it'll get the drainage, and if it's really dry, then I'll add water to it, um, and I may open up the lid a little bit if it's raining, so it can get natural water that way. Um, I'm still new to this. I've never done a compost bin before or composting in general. Um, if anyone watching this wants it has more knowledge about it, please comment because I am more than more than happy to listen to all of your ideas and suggestions. Um, in my opinion, there's no better way to learn than from the masters and from getting all the information that you can um, about something and just taking it all in so I'm all for it now to get started um, I left the bottom part of this outside um, I have a tray that it's just another one of these or if you have a big baking sheet that fits you can do that but all we're doing is sitting our bin on it and that way it uh, collects all of the compost tea and that is great to pour over your herb plants and stuff like that. So we definitely want to get all the goodness that comes out of this compost bin. And from the research that I've done, it is the best type of compost has a good mixture of green and brown. So your brown would be soil and dry leaves wood chips and so that is our brown part and I just got leaves from the yard and then some soil that has had things growing it before not my clay soil <laughs> actual good soil so that is the first part and then for the greens um, you can use grass clippings, or I'm using, um, well this is actually stuff that's gone bad in my fridge, but really you can use table scrap, or I say table scraps, but I mean like, um, fruit peels or cores, um, the potatoes, um, so like carrot peels, all that kind of stuff, stuff that you would normally throw away, um, the ends of lettuce, all that can go in your pile to make for a good 
combination of brown and green. Okay, so there is our compost and I have gloves on, so I'll go ahead and mix all that up. Now, one thing that we don't want to put in our compost is meat or dairy or anything that is going to attract wildlife or mice. Um, you don't want to put that in your compost. We're using um, vegetables and fruit and uh, grass clippings and leaves and dirt and wood chips stuff like that you could even do newspaper newspaper would work shred it up um, if you had old newspaper you just want to make sure that you have a good combination of both you don't want it to be too alkaline or too acidic you're wanting something in between Ooh, which reminds me another thing you can put in your compost are coffee grounds and i am an avid coffee drinker so i have coffee grounds so I've been saving them in this container and I think every week, at the end of every week, I'm going to put my coffee grounds in there and that just adds um, another layer of nutrients that your plants are going to get from this. And I think it's said to um, let your compost decompose and whatnot for four to six weeks and then it's good enough to use. Um, obviously you can keep adding to it and mixing, but it should be ready to use in about four to six weeks. You should have a nice compost to start off. So I am super excited about this because that is when my garden should really start needing it. Um, so yeah, so that is my Saturday afternoon project. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and maybe it inspires you to garden or start composting. And I hope that I see you guys next time for another great video. Thanks for watching.